What's up guys? Welcome to workout number three. And uh, this is an upper body workout, bench press, seven sets, five reps, 80% of my one rep max, one rep training max. It's going to be intense. I have not been so excited about my training for a very long time. So I'm loving this program. Let's see how it goes. It's going to kick my ass, but that is what the excitement is all about. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please like, share, and comment, do all the good things. Let's get into the workout. What's up guys and welcome to another video and I did not re my weights from last session because I was absolutely battered but I've set up for a bench session now and I did my normal regular warm up but I like to do some handstand holds uh, as an alternative warm up I've just started doing it because that actually makes me understand how to push the ground away from me and to uh, activate my serratus and my shoulders and my upper body to get warmed up for the bench and here I'm doing two warm-up sets to get ready for my working sets make sure you get your warm-up in as well like I said last time and just try to do that so that you can understand the movement pattern and uh, ingrain your form and technique here if you see I am digging my feet into the bench and my upper back into the bench as well uh, I have decided to go slightly wider with my uh, grip so and that's something I'm trying uh, to do because that activates more of your chest and it is better to, to do that because if you're using your chest uh, you will be stronger because that's a bigger muscle than uh, your triceps or your shoulders that you're using while doing the bench. So always try to strive to you know be the strongest that you can and use the muscles that are actually supposed to be used. and. Uh, keep improving from there, keep improvising. Like you can see here, I, I cannot um, you know, emphasize enough to dig your upper back into the bench and think of pushing uh, your back into the bench rather than thinking of just pushing the weight uh, up and down. Okay, use your leg drive and make sure you're squeezing your glutes while you are doing this movement. It's a compound movement, it's not only for your chest, it's not only for your shoulders. Okay, so just make sure that you are actually using your entire body in the most optimal way to be able to maximize your strength. This is my last set. Uh, we did uh, a total of seven sets, and you know, I st thought it would be easy, but it it really isn't because this kind of volume is something that is very new to me, and every session is is super challenging in its own way because I'm just not ready for what is to come. But overall, a good session, and the second exercise is a weighted pull up instead of a chin up like last time and I got 6 reps on both the sets uh, pretty good but I'm still kind of struggling uh, I'm facing the wall here but the weight is actually hitting the uh, hitting, hitting the wall so in the next set you'll see I just turned my body the other way and I did it uh, just improvising with you know whatever I have in front of me and uh, yeah I'm just keeping my lats activated if you can see I'm not going all the way down that's a personal preference you don't have to go all the way down uh, as long as you are going through the maximum range of motion to activate your back muscles that is more than enough just think of pulling through your elbows not just with your hands and now we move on to third exercise which is shoulder press with dumbbells uh, these are 20 kg dumbbells they look like 2 kgs um, but yeah even on this I am just trying to control the movement, go through the entire range of motion, keep my, uh, keep the dumbbells slightly twisted inside so that it's not too compromising on my shoulder and it's a safer position to be in and in the long term your shoulders will thank you for it. Uh, it was super tough, I did 3 sets of 10 reps with this and uh, you know, as you can see it's about a little challenging in the end and uh, pretty satisfied with, with this, with these 3 sets. Now I had an option of doing a chest supported row but you know I'm a big fan of a single arm row and this is something I will always choose if I have the option. If you can see from this angle my elbow is slightly tucked in, uh, tracking inside and I'm trying to pull the dumbbell towards my belly button and uh, that's something that you guys should you know take away from this as well and the more you can pull through your elbow the more you can loosen your grip while doing any pulling movement it is definitely going to help you. Now we move on to the parallel bar dips, a uh, super challenging exercise and is something I want to improve and I want to start doing weighted uh, dips as well. Um, but by the time I reached this exercise I was pretty exhausted so I got in uh, 3 sets of 10 reps and it's pretty good. I tried to get a pause at the bottom but 
I don't think that really happened. Though there is a good amount of control, and I was pretty happy with how this how this went as well. Just make sure when you're doing this, your forearms are kind of you know uh, straight and not going all over the place, and don't flare your elbows out because that'll definitely hit your shoulders. Now we move on to the one of my worst exercises, the bicep curl. I didn't even want to put this in, but it's kind of a few cheat reps, but I wanted to uh, overload my biceps with that one. And now we move on to the close grip push-ups. Now I didn't want to go with diamond push-ups because I feel I don't engage my triceps as much with that. So I just kept it close, kept my fingers pointed inside, tucked my elbows in, and mimic the form of a push-up. Just make sure that your entire body looks like it's in one piece and you're not and your hips are not going all over the place and think of pushing the ground away from you and push through your palms as much as possible while keeping your shoulders away from your ears. Super important tip. And I ended with some uh, rear delt flies, the different variation, but definitely a good one. And I hope you guys like this workout and I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.